Item number SCP-5556, Security Level 3, Containment Class Euclid, Disruption Class Lamb, Risk Class Warning. Special Containment Procedures. Instances of SCP-5556 are to be housed in standard humanoid group habitat scaled to 0.25 of standard size. Standard humanoid rations are to be provided. Small running wheels are to be provided in exchange for good behavior and to encourage exercise. Personnel are not to directly interact with SCP-5556 except as approved during testing. Any statements made by SCP-5556 instances are to be disregarded. Description SCP-5556 refers to a group of humanoids resembling garden gnomes. Each wears a beard and a tall pointed hat. Each entity is between 30 to 40 centimeters tall, not counting the height of the hat. SCP-5556 entities are anatomically similar to humans apart from their height and possess a similar level of intelligence. Each SCP-5556 instance is highly explosive and will involuntarily detonate when a specific action is performed on it by a human. The action required diverse for each instance. The explosive force varies widely between events, but is always sufficient to neutralize the affected instance. Instances experience a brief period of intense pain before detonating. SCP-5556 instances are not capable of inducing this effect on each other directly, but may attempt to persuade humans to induce it. Addendum 5556-1 Recovery Log 1 Forward MTF Tau-14 Members Tau-1-5 through 5, was dispatched to contain SCP-5556, a group of what were to be believed notice class anomalous entities. During recovery, an instance which identified itself as the group's leader approached Tau-1 to speak. Begin log. Excuse me, tall fella. What in the world do you pals think you're doing with me, oh, coterie, oh, squatted consorts? Uh, pardon? Oh, one of the skips. Uh, we're here to take you guys somewhere safe. If you could just hold still and... Tower 1 attempts to place SCP-5556-1 in the containment box. SCP-5556-1 jumps onto Tower 1's chest and climbs to the back of their head. Hey, get off! Christ, they told us you were supposed to be docile! Oh, this is a plain commander of this here hammer of tykes. I hereby forbid ya from grabbing up me tiny men. Gnomes, assault these hooligans! SCP-5556-1 pulls Tower One's hair while yelling. Tower One attempts to remove the entity, but is unable to get a proper grip on it. The entity shakes Tower One's head back and forth and bites their scalp. Tower One signals for backup, but the rest of the task force is occupied with containing other SCP-5556 instances in a manner similar to Tower One. Jesus, you have a strong grip! So down, will ya? This is for your own good! Tower 3 catches an SCP-5556 instance. It explodes in his hands, amputating several of his fingers and causing severe burns. The entities and MTF pause to survey the damage. Crap! Thor, get a medical kit! What the hell just happened? Ah, oh, looks like when their pals picked up Chucky. What a shame! He had a husband, you know. Okay, that's nice. Why do you just blow up? Toasty boy over there. Trip old Chuck's fuse. Each of us has one, you know. Sit off and we pop like a balloon. I could have warned you if you hadn't barged in and started scooping us all up. So all of you can explode. Damn it, why didn't HQ know that? What else can set you guys off? Oh, each of us have our own little thing. 
According to he blows a, you read him a bedtime story. And other than, well, let's say he's not much of a hugger. It's been right on your faces, really. You'd have to be blind not to see it. And I suppose there's something innocent that makes you blow up as well. Hmm, I suppose there is. I wouldn't know, though. I can't see my own face. I, what? How can you not know that? Hasn't someone else told you? It would be a tad rude, wouldn't it? Telling a lad how he's gonna pop. Or so. You there, flip poor Citric Topsy Tubby, least he blow you to the moon. The SCP-5556 instance Tau 2 holds, shouts in protest. Tau 2 flips its container upside down, which causes it to explode. Tau 2 suffers minor burns. Colorway swords, aren't we? And log. Addendum, 5556-2, recovery log 2. Forward. The following logs are recorded by on-site security systems while the SCP-5556 instances were moved into containment. Begin log. Shh! Hey! You there, big bones! Uh, sorry, the higher-ups don't want me talking to you guys. Look, I'm sure you're very busy cutting me off to a tiny prison, but I assure you, this is very important. Life or death, even. I'm just gonna not listen to you till you get to your cell. All right, well, you know, Schnippy, our so-called leader, yeah? The guy you, okay, uh, your lot have been calling Dash One. I'll let you in on a little secret about him. He had a certain medical condition. He needs sugar, lots of it. His body can't be good right, and he'll be dead by the end of the week without it. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. I promise you, I'm telling you the truth. Us little folk need more of the stuff than your kind do. Do you really trust the higher-ups to make sure all of us have our dietary needs met before we kill over? It happens quicker than you think. Uh, I'm sure they'll take care of him, and we were not told to give you guys anything. You and me both know the people up top are good for nothing. Do you know when they found us? Your bosses didn't even know we'd explode. Let me tell you, your friend. I know how it feels to be stepped over. I'm a foot tall after all. I think it's time you take some initiative and bring a poor gnome some sugar. What's the harm? I'm sure your bosses will be grateful once they realize you save one of the new pets or whatever it is you're keeping us for. Huh. Okay, maybe you're right. I'll see what I can do about it. D-4133 exits the containment chamber. D-4133 enters the SCP-5556 containment cell for testing. He reaches into the back of his pants, clenches, and retrieves a packet of sugar taken from the site cafeteria. D-4133, what is that? Security! We have an unauthorized object! Chamber! Uh, Dash One, I brought this for you. Uh, pardon? What is this for? Ow! How in the bloody fu- Security feed lost. Afterward, the containment area for SCP-5556, as well as D-4133, were found to have been vaporized in a large explosion. All instances of SCP-5556 were present and unharmed, with the exception of SCP-5556-1. The entities appear to have selected SCP-5556-2 as a new leader.